What's up everyone? It's been a while since new episode of my quick tips and tricks for Unreal Engine 4 was uploaded. A lot of things have happened in the meantime. We took part in the epic mega gem with our Revolution Jumpers game, uh, my advanced glass material pack was released in the Unreal Engine marketplace and much much more. But now I'm back with the new episode, so let's get started. Number 9. Disable Auto Exposure what is the auto exposure feature and how to get rid of this when you don't need it? So, in general, auto exposure or eye adaptation, as it is also called, adjusts camera's exposure automatically when going from bright environment into a dark environment, and the other way around. It's really great feature for games where you need to simulate or recreate such a fake experience by human eyes. But what if not? What if you are working on textures or materials and constant exposure change drives you crazy? So you've got two options to control this effect. First, click on the lid or whatever your view mode is currently set to and on the bottom you've got exposure. By default it's set to automatic which is controlled by either post process volume or camera settings. I will show you how to change that in a second. Alright, let's go ahead and change it to something else. You see, now it's fixed and it's not adjusting anymore when moving from bright to dark. The only problem with that is it works only as a preview, so every time you hit play button it returns to previous settings. And it's a bit uncomfortable to adjust the exposure that way. You need to change it here over and over to find the right settings. Ok, let's reset it to automatic and let me show you a different way. So you need to have a post process volume or a camera somewhere in your level. Select post process volume and type exposure in the search bar. And I'm not going to go through all options as we are going to change only two of them. And please notice that I've got unbound checked, so this post process volume affects entire level. Ok, enable mean and max brightness checkboxes and set both of them to value of 1. Now you can adjust the exposure manually. To do that, simply drag the exposure bias. As you can see, exposure is fixed now. And it works also when you play the game. Of course, the same goes for the camera. Number 10. Light Maps Preview This one is maybe not a trick, but in my opinion it's something interesting, so I thought I will share it anyway. To preview levels light maps, go to Settings and World Settings. Scroll down to find Light Maps category and click Show Advanced. Expand the Light Maps rollout. So here are all light maps which are used by this level. Unreal Engine uses different texture channels to pack the information about lighting, color and shadows. For example, take a closer look at the shadow map. Now if I drag and drop, let's say a box, and build the lighting, you can see it has changed. Like this spot represents the shadow of the box. If you are wondering why this texture is so small, it's because Unreal Engine uses memory efficiently, packs lighting information into textures and keeps them as small as possible. It's also connected to object's light map resolution, a value you set inside the static mesh editor for each mesh. Just remember to keep the balance between visual quality and performance as you may end up with lots of high resolution light maps which can use tons of your memory. Number 11 camera bookmarks. This one is useful and I use it a lot. Camera bookmarks store your camera's position and rotation in active viewport. It's a big time saver for huge levels where you need to move quickly from one point to another. It works for both perspective and orthographic view mode. Ok, so there are two ways of adding new camera bookmarks. First, in the top left hand corner of the active viewport there is a drop down menu. Click it and go to bookmarks. Now you can choose up to 10 different bookmarks. I usually use 3. Ok, so if you set the bookmarks you can access it by finding in here. What's nice about bookmark is that they are saved with your level so you don't lose them when you close the editor. As I am a shortcut lover I prefer to use second way, which is pressing and holding down Ctrl and any number on your keyboard. 1, 2, 3, all up to 0. 
Then to jump to bookmark, simply press the number key again, but without holding down the control. And there you have it, a perfect way to jump from one place to another. Okay guys, that's it for this episode. I'm Michał Wojewek and see you next time.